Welcome to Ponery's Penny Arcade, and this is Kicking It Old School, and I brought this particular title because I am anticipating Ed Finley's release of Castlevania 3, his remake, a passion project for him, a passionate title for my childhood, and I'm going to let this roll out so you can read the intro and the description, but before we get to play his brilliant remaster... I thought we would touch on the original, especially since my emulator will not screw up the clock tower. Anyway, not sure if I'm going to do this for half an hour or an hour. Let's just see. I don't think I hacked this ROM, so you'll get to see it in all its original glory without any modifications. Except for the fact that I smoothed out the graphics ever so slightly, so it's a little bit better looking. And I'm just letting this intro roll, because I can't remember ever seeing it, even playing it as a kid. But it's pretty cool. The curse of Dracula's begun. And now, we're messing with Simon's... Descendant, Trevor Belmont. This is where the game started to, like, go a little away from the original for me. Because after this one, and after uh, the Super Nintendo sequel, it sort of started branching off, and I'm not so sure how I feel about that. But because... I'm old school. We'll stick with the originals. I've already seen a sneak preview of Ed Retro Gamer's remake of this, and this intro is still there, and I love it. Alright, so it looks like I haven't hacked this ROM yet, so you should get it totally vanilla, and that's fine with me, because I'm not terrible at this game. I'm not great at it. But I'm not terrible at it, and I can live with that, and I hope you can too. There we go. Remember, you can like skip the door, sort of, see? But since we have a timer, <clears throat> we should just get to the getting, and do what we gotta do. I am happy to say that the Razor Wolverine has um, performed admirably since I replaced my Sabertooth, which is why I'm not so leery of doing these like I used to be. I totally enjoy all this. Look at that. The scrolling is perfect. The older emulator that I used to use would chop and screw this and it was terrible. This is perfect. I can live with all of this. Little blinky top line is a little wonky, but whatever. We'll forgive it. Okay. As we climb the cathedral tower. I'm not sure I want that. I do want that. I may regret not taking the holy water. We'll see. Alright. Neat. It's on the other side of the wall. We're just too badass. We're just way too badass for this. Oh, we have max hearts already. Hmm. Now, if I remember right, there was like an invisible staircase or something for this, right? Whatever. I guess not. Maybe that's just unobtainium up there. That candelabra. Oh well. 
I know there's meat down there. Right? Right here? No? Huh. Maybe my memory of this isn't as good as I thought it was. Fine. Whatever. By the way, if any of you... Oh, maybe I did hex this. Look, I didn't take any damage. Sorry. I guess I did hex it somehow. <laughs> Oops. Well, that explains why I got 99 hearts. Anyway, we're just playing this for story. One of these days, maybe I'll stop doing that. Maybe. Whatever. At least we know we're not dying. <laughs> I don't want that. Nope. Y'all just gonna seriously just keep on coming, huh? Yup. 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 I guess I do have hacks. Hmm. I didn't add them before recording. This must be like an old set of codes I put in. Whatever, it doesn't matter. There's the meat. I didn't even need it. Whatever. <sighs> I had this weekend where I had a bunch of stuff planned and like the physical activities of the first couple of things on the list ruined the rest of the weekend. So I only got about half my to-do list done. But you know what? Compared to October, that's a godsend. Because I worked myself almost to death last month. And I don't want to divulge too much information, but if you are a follower of my social media, you kind of know what caused it all. And all I can say is, good riddance. There, I got a boss waiting for me. I'm getting this out of the way now because I know Ed's future project is going to be stunningly brilliant. Especially when it comes to what's coming in terms of boss fights and like extra things to do. I don't even have to worry about the damage. What am I worried about? There it is. So, first, first level done. Oh, they didn't do the health part. Hmm. Fine. Choose your path. Well, I know I like Grant, even though he's one of the weakest characters in the game, so we're going to do the clock tower. Plus, I love the soundtrack for the clock tower. One of the best soundtracks. Let's be honest, this is fantastic. Man, I remember when this game came out. I'm pretty sure Simon's Quest came out before the Nintendo Power Championships in Houston back in like, I think it was, I wanna say it was like 88 or 89. I could be wrong. I'll annotate if I if I got the year wrong. But man, I remember playing this and Super Contra at at the Nintendo Power Championships was like uh like an event where you got to compete against let's be honest, it was their their home brewed uh player. Like it was an in house stud of a player. His name was Thor Ackerland. I remember that. And I did not enter that. My friend Travis, that I, that I went with there, he tried. And he put up a noble effort, but I mean, in all honesty, I knew it was staged. The whole thing was staged. Like, it was... He had no chance of winning. And I remember the cartridge was like... 
I want to say it was one episode of Super Mario Brothers, one episode of Rad Racer, one one level of Rad Racer, and I can't recall what the last one was. What I do know is, is those cartridges that they used for the competition, they were um, they were unique. They had these dip switches to sort of set up the the timers or the competition or how it was going to switch over between games, which was pretty fascinating. And I remember there was uh, there was silver ones and there was gold ones. And the gold ones, for whatever reason, people sold them on eBay for like $40,000? Something like that? I mean, it was just one level of each of the three games. And yet, because it was a collectible thing for a competition, people went nuts for it. Whatever. Either way, doesn't matter. Anyway, my friend Travis didn't even make it to the semis. Oops. Well, that was dumb, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, he didn't even make it to the semifinals. And of course, they're their in-house, you know, game stud, Thor Ackerlin. He freaking won it. As predicted, as usual. But I do, I remember playing this, and I want to say... I want to say that, uh... Super Contra was definitely there. I want to say that uh, Metal Gear Snake's Revenge was there. Man, there was a bunch of games that came out that year. It was a good year for for 8-bit Nintendo gaming, for sure. And then shortly after, the Super NES came out. So, take it for what you will. One of the more annoying things that I discovered as I got older was the Famicom and the Super Famicom actually had more memory, so the, the audio tracks were Way better. Way, way better. Like the depth of the audio is better. I guess we're throwing double axes. I guess we're not. I wanted boomerangs, but whatever. We have 99 hearts and unlimited health, so who gives a crap? I really don't remember the last time I played this, but apparently I hexed it. There we go. That was a let's not screw around, just get to the end of it. Alright. Oh, oh, this could be a death. No? Alright. Sweet. Didn't get chipped. I think my favorite part of this is I think this was the first game where. Shit. I think this was the first game where um, you would go up a level and then you would have the next level would be going back down the same level. Like that was unique to this to, to gaming. Pretty unique. Oh I got oh what? Why would I want to do that? Like, is there no special item there? So what was the point of knocking out the block? Whatever. Let's try not to die. Yeah, that'd be good. Ow. Oh, whoa. Oh, it, no, no. No, no. So bad at this. I'm trying to time this. There, there we go. All right. I'll be honest. I've I've had uh, a multitude of. Well, I guess I should talk about it, since I do enjoy a good brew from time to time. Uh, tonight's brew was a winter seasonal called 
St. Arnold's Christmas Sale. And it's amazing. And I think this year's was a 7.5 or a 7.7 percenter. So it was pretty powerful stuff. Wait, he can't even hurt me. I got hacks. I forgot. I'll just, you know, wreck him. Oh, wow, you got wrecked. There we go. Nice job. Good job, Trevor. Oh, oh. My name is Grant. I dreamed I was turned into a ghost. You were. Please, take me with you. My family was killed by Dracula. The thing I love about this character is how upgraded uh, Ed has made him. So when his game comes out, I can't wait to get Grant. Of course I'm going to take him. I can help you a lot because I'm very fast. Works for me. The thing I like about Grant is he's fast. Unfortunately, he has the weakest attack with the shortest amount of range. And Retro Gamer has decided to alleviate that situation by taking away his dagger and giving him a cutlass, as you're about to see. Look how fast he is. This is the room we started in, and if I remember right, if you hold the jump button, right? No? Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. I haven't done it in a while. How did that work? Oh, well, if you hold the jump button, right? What? Oh, okay, you have to hold it up against the wall you're walking on. That was the biggest complaint that I think even Ed had with this, was that Grant's ability to hang onto walls was kind of shitty. Because you would have to hold up against the wall while you're trying to walk at an angle. And that was, that was no bueno. But this is also that really cool thing that I was saying where um, you actually had to walk in opposite you know, or back down the level you came from. That's pretty cool. I don't have to worry about him taking damage. But you see how short his dagger is? Like, he has no range. Alright, so now we've got two doubles. Oh! 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 Yeah, you really have to hold the wall direction plus the direction you want to move in. That's a bit of a pain. Alright, so here we go. Nope. Even though there's no damage for me, I still don't like the hit. Because you recoil from the hit. That's no good. You could actually speed run this. I remember before I used to... Oh god, I almost fell. Like, you can speed run this. You don't have to, like, dick around with everything. Like, I can just do this and skip all of it. Like so. Yeah, having Grant's really not that great in the original. I just thought his character was cool. I thought it would be really nice if they could expand on him. Which they didn't. So 
Jesus. My family was killed by Dracula. Let me help you. Uh, okay, bro. See, and he gets no, he gets no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He doesn't get his base weapon upgrades. See? And then that happens. Because you're trying to jump, and it's just not... It's hard to explain. It is frustrating. Grand is a very frustrating character to play. I did it again. <laughs> Best way to deal with that is climb the ceiling. And I should have just did that before. But I am glad that Ed has actually um, addressed this issue with the game. Because I'm sure that was a spot that a lot of people died in. So the way we're going to work ourselves around it... hang on to the ceiling and then drop here. Fan, whatever. Oh, that could suck. Nope, don't touch me, bro. Speed run. Yeah, we're getting out of here. No. I'm just going to take the hits, because I can't take damage anyway, right? Yep. Oh, God! Jesus! All the way back here. <sighs> okay. Fine. Whatever. No, 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 no. No, just... Thank you. No, stop climbing the walls. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh no! No! Why are there so many Medusas all of a sudden? Stop! No! Okay. Just chill. Jesus. Damn it. God, that was stressful. I don't want that. I'm stuck with it. Alright, no more stupid Medusas. Damn it. Level over. We're stuck with a stupid timepiece. He took that out in his version. I think he said something about it's too OP. To be perfectly honest, I don't like it anyway. And I never used it, so... Good riddance. We're going to fight with Grant because I need a different weapon because this clock is bullshit. There we go. That's better. Whatever. I threw that one a little early. Shit. Hey, hey. That was pretty good. A switch. Do I still have, like, all my goodies? Nope. Oh, God, we're leather whipped and everything? Seriously? There we go. At least we now we got a 
A man-sized morning star. Yes. Really? You can run off screen, huh? I can't. understood what that background is. Is it supposed to be fog? It doesn't really do it for me. How about y'all? Whatever. Stairs. Ah, no special weapon. level actually. This is a transition one. Alright. If I go south, I get Alucard. If I go to the right, I get... I don't, I don't remember what that guy's name is. But I've had Alucard before in countless playthroughs and the flying is sort of hacks. So we're going to try this one. This is the other half of the first step, that last level. Let's do it. Apologize if you can hear my stupid dogs and their endless barking. Because anytime I want to record something, they want to bark. It's like a fox hunt in my house whenever I want to record. It's kind of strange. Whatever's got them worked up this time, they're pretty upset. I can hear it. Oh! Jesus. Might have ruined that jump just slightly. Alright. Not the end of the world. Is Grant still... Is he disarmed now? Yes, he is. Oh! His dagger hit doesn't make them spread into... Oh, no, it does. Okay. Maybe it's situational. Not the end of the world? shitty. Let's be honest. That was shitty. Alright, we're doing this whole thing with Trevor. You know, when I was a kid, I used to think that if I had a son, I would name him Trevor, and I suspect that it was because of this character. I'm not even kidding. I never really gave uh, sons' names much thought, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got the idea from. Pretty sure. Oh well. We'll see. Alright, let's go back to Grant. can't hurt me, I have the hacks. Unbeknownst to me before I started recording, but whatever. On to the next door. Ooh, gotcha. That's good. Oh, I can't 
can't go that way. Ooh, I don't want that. No way. Oh, that was bad. Whatever. Maybe they'll come in useful. I don't know. I think the other thing that Ed did was... Uh, he made... If I'm not mistaken, he made... Oh, shh. Really? Okay, I guess it will have to be Trevor then. He made it where you can play all the characters. And I'm so on board with that. Like, I'm perfectly okay with that. But he can't take damage if I'm just blowing through this guy. So usually this is where I do the overtime sound effect or whatever, but in all honesty, I mean, most of my kicking at old schools have been going close to an hour anyway, so we won't do that. Look at that! Who are you? Thanks for helping me. I'm Sifa. Sifa? Sifa. What would you say? I'll just say Sifa. I will follow you if you need my help. What will you do? Take him with you, leave him behind. Well, if I take him, then Grant's gotta go, right? Sorry, Grant. I didn't think I just dumped you. My job is done, so you should go with him for now. See, that sucks. That really sucks. But in Finley's game, you get to keep them all. Woohoo! Ghost ship. Ah, they're not cat they're not candelabras either. Alright, Sifa. Let's see what you got. I know you got a stick. Yeah. This turns, right? Yeah. Can I balance this like planking? Nope. And what a minimalist color palette. That's right, this is a magic user. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, invincibility. Oh no! I think the fire was better. Then again, I guess I can just test uh, how good this, the OP of the clock is. Oh yeah, it's pretty bad. Hmm. Well, let's just roll with it and see what happens. Those look like floors that will not be around. Ooh. Let's just save them in case I have to need them. Oh yeah. Hey, that's not bad. Do, 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 do. So basically what this is, is don't dick around with disposable blocks. Fair enough. I don't usually go this route because I usually take Alucard. So this is kind of all a little more uncharted territory for me, if I'm honest. That Sifa had other attacks too, like elementals, lightning and stuff like that. Guess we're gonna find out. Learn something today. That's pretty good. Ah, 
Oh no. Damn it. Unnecessary backtracking. And respawns. Damn it, man. Ah, it's three hits. And it's gonna spawn another one, right? Yeah. Because that's what it does when you leave the area and come right back. Even though the one that spawned originally chases you. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Okay, this is a don't screw around type thing. Like, move and keep moving. And I, I bet those stupid little spawns are going to start showing up. That's not too bad. That was not bad at all. Oh god, no. Okay. Alright. I don't think I can make... I can make that jump, but I don't think I can make the return like... That's like a grant-like thing right there. Oh, okay. Looks like we got a boss already. Wow. Actually, Sipa's attack is pretty incredible. Holy crap. That's amazing. Oh, because it's not a major boss. Man, that's shit. Alright. Okay, we're going to keep going this way. You ever wonder why I keep walking into walls? It's usually for that very reason. Uh-huh. There we go. Apparently this is the only spell we got. Fine. That was definitely a don't screw around moment. Might make it nice and easy. <laughs> this is a pretty big boat. Man, that was like no challenge. That looks like a shortcut. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the shortest of shortcuts. Now we're on the other side of this. And it looks like the major boss is right here. Oh, is this the Grim Reaper? I suspect this is the Grim Reaper. Wait, he goes into the casket, right? Okay, it's mummies. Yeah, and then you, you just basically whoop these, and then the spirit will come out, and it'll go to the other one. Yeah. And I can't hit him while he's doing that. See? Invulnerable. Is this more of this? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, look at that. I can't do anything to him. Can I hit him in the head? Nope. I guess we'll have to use Simon for this, or Trevor for this. Fan. Oh wow, none of that works. Oh, it's a headshot only, okay. Wow. All right, Atlas, give me a break. Let's chill here. Let him come to me. Now you're gonna go into that, that, uh, oh, that's it? 
Greek sauce. I thought he was gonna go into that thing too. Fine, whatever. We got him. Onward. Mm. Oh, that's right. They don't take your help in this one. The boat is. Uh oh. The boat has started to move. Little Metal Gear reference. Or truck. This is gonna suck. Huh. Wasn't too bad, actually. Fan. You're gonna spawn another one, like, instantly, aren't you? Uh, give me the money. Oh. Wouldn't let me have the money. Fan. That's a fight worth avoiding. Oh. Fan, whatever. No damage. Haha. <laughs> take that. Take that. Looks like I don't get any other spells. Oh, what? BS. I should have probably switched to Simon or Trevor here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drop down into here. We'll take the death. Yeah, because apparently my hack gives me unlimited lives too. Fine. Need more whippage. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I need fireballs. Really bad for this. Right. At least with this, I can duck down and hit the shots, right? Yeah. Anything here? Nope. We're switching back. Oh, I need the fireball thing. Fireball thing. Oh, got a new health. Yeah, that whole droop down a little further than usual thing, that was some BS. Whatever. Look at that. See how far he went? Whatever. Oh no! Ah, oh, why did I jump? Idiot. Can't hurt me here. Hmm. So it's just a. St I think I'm just beating him with a stick, right?
Oh no. 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 Good. This is fire. Yeah, buddy. So far, so good. This Espa, Espa, Espa. Yeah, seems okay. I usually just do Grant and then go to, to uh, Alucard. Sometimes I actually play it with just Grant only, with no Alucard. Oh, see, I knew it. There was other spells. Yeah. Matching things. Look at that. Wow, that doesn't stay frozen very long, though, does it? Oh, crap. This is that part of the map where it's like, you cannot screw around. Like, you gotta keep moving, or you will die. Kind of lame, actually. I mean, on the plus side, you yes, you can outrun it, like I just did. sit there and kind of wait it out. It's kind of BS how the monsters are spawning right on top of you, though. Like, that's not cool. Oh, we're already at the top? Okay, I can relax. Let's go see what this is. Does he have a weapon? He does. That's fine. That's just fine. Eh, can't hurt me. You can't hurt me, bro! I got the hacks. I got the unintentional hacks. We'll just leave them frozen. Why not? It's more fun that way, right? Oh, god damn it. Now I gotta go all the way back. just stay there and think about what you've done. Really? Alright, it's fine. Whatever. Here we go. Do I really want that? Fine, whatever. We'll deal. Oh god. Oh god, just run away from all of that. Oh, you can't hurt me anyway, I'm on the stairs. Screw it, just keep moving. When I'm on the stairs, you can't knock me off, so I don't care. This is obviously an HP sink anyway. Fine. Yeah, I think the ice ability is better here. Since it actually has range. Compared to this. Yeah. I think keeping the ice would have been prudent. Ah, can I hit that from here? Stick with this Aspa. Aspa? Aspa. That just seems like some lazy ass programming for a name. Like, I was just looking at the keyboard keys and thought, Aspa, that'll work. Really, dude? Oh, now I know where he got some of his bosses from his uh, Castlevania 2 Rebidden. I usually skip this part, so I didn't remember where the Frankenstein came from. But I think Frankenstein's in the Rebitten game. Oh well. 
It's fine. Sorry. Working through a yawn here. Oh, combo. Alright, give me back my ice one. That's much more useful. Oh, really? Earn! Wait for him to pop up. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I froze the water. Nice. That's so much more useful. Look at that. I froze the waterfall and everything. Sweet. That is so cool. That effect. That's awesome. Yeah. Ooh, you can freeze those! Oh, wow. Yeah, that makes ice OP. Big time. Because that's a one-hit kill once you freeze them. That's fantastic. Really? I can freeze his axe? That's a bit much. Oh, I love this skill. Oh, man, if I had, like, a double of this? Holy crap, are you kidding me? That's fantastic. so stupid. Well, there goes my OP skill. That's gone. Now we gotta do it the damn hard way. Jesus, look how many hits I have to take without that ice. Are you kidding me? This is some bullshit. Just die. I gotta switch over. I need some whip. That's some bullshit. We had it made. We was kings. Now we chumps. Sorry. Okay. Can I get to that? Can I? Nope. Did y'all see that coming? I saw it coming. Now I feel like a moron. my new challenge. How bad can I screw up having the most OP magic skill, losing it, and then not being able to progress forward without it? For real. Hopefully we got it right this time. Let's just keep moving. Oh, there we go. Got it back. Nice. Let's try not to screw it up this time, huh? Yeah, that is super OP. Fine. 
Whatever. No damage, right? No! No! Oh god, no, I don't want this skill. Fuck this skill. I need my ice back. This is so stupid. I hate this skill. Ed, you were so right for getting rid of this stupid clock. Oh my god, I can't believe I picked that piece of shit up. The one thing he did very well in Rebitten was if you jump into an item that you don't want, you can always switch it back. And right now I wish I could. Because this is some bullshit. Oh god, and we're dead. a whip. That's a whip. That's not a whip. Oh, I was going to say, you get, a, you get the feeling that, oh, okay. So this is clearly where he got another one of his bosses. That was harder than it needed to be, though. Oh, we've made it to Dracula's castle. Maybe I'll take you through a little bit of it. attention to what's ground and what's not. Clearly that's ground. I'm not sure if I can kill those. Doesn't appear to be the case. Clearly. Boy, you really can't. There's no margin for error for that part. Okay, he's outfitted. Let's go get the other guy. Asfa! Uh, give me the ability to freeze things. a gallon for gas. That's what it sounds like. Come on, man. God. Whatever. Let's 
just make all the jumps. Not screw around. Oh boy. about this one Urgh. Ooh, nope <laughs> it's like uh, the margin of error for that is very small guys around. Whatever. You can't hurt me. Because I have hacks. Oh, the ice thing would be so much better here. Right? It would be like so, so much better here. What do we got? Holy water. I should be able to reach this. Officially running a little bit into overtime. Oh, that's fun because I'm kind of curious. What's this? I can't remember the last time I really sat down and played this at, at length like this. tip this up here like this, and then I can make this jump, right? Does that seem feasible? Does that seem logical? I'm gonna do it with Belmont.
good. How? Okay, so it's kind of a don't screw around. Oh, shh! Didn't I make that same mistake earlier? Yeah, pretty sure I did. Here we go. Just gonna whoop you with this stick. Inefficient way to kill one of you, but whatever. Yep. You're gonna need a bigger stick. That's what it is. The stick you're using is just not big enough. Why couldn't this be like River City Ransom, where the monster's own projectiles hurt other monsters? Is that too much to ask? That's just meat. Let's keep going. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. Last time. If I had Alucard, I could just turn into a bat and fly my way through this. But, because we like to do things the hard way. That wasn't actually that bad. But that was stupid. And in all honesty, I'm kind of burned out for the day. So we're out of time. This was Ponery's Kicking It Old School. This was Castlevania 3. And if you like what you see, and you're a little discouraged by the fact that I gave up on it, I don't blame you, but I'm kind of tired. And in all honesty, I don't want to take you through to the very end of every game because then you won't want to go out and play them yourselves right so anyway if you like what you saw maybe hit like maybe hit the subscribe button maybe share it with a friend or maybe you should just check out my other playlist and see if my other other interests would be of interest to you either way thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one maybe i'll come back to this and finish it out not really sure later